So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you another case of the method of undetermined coefficient. This time, the linear expression on the right-hand side. Now, in this one, I've used the same left-hand side as in the previous example. So the complementary function is going to be the same, which means that, to be honest, I'm not actually going to solve the equation. I'm only going to find a particular solution because we all know what the complementary function is and it's just a simple matter of adding them together. So, okay, let's start. So, firstly, this time, our trial solution is going to be of the form of what's on the right-hand side. That is a linear function. So, I've got the trial function is going to be y equals pt plus Okay, so if that had just been a minus 12t and this term wasn't here, you would still use the term, this trial solution of on pt, pt plus q rather than just pt. Okay, so aside from that, then let's have a look. So let's substitute this in. So I know y prime is p and my double prime is 0. So 0 minus 4 times p minus 12 times p t plus q equals minus 12 t plus 24. So minus 4 of p minus 12pt minus 12q equals minus 12t plus 24. So now we're going to have to equate coefficients. So equating the coefficient of t gives minus 12p equals minus 12, or p equals 1. Equating the coefficients of the constant term, or more equating the constant terms, gives minus 4p minus 12q equals 24. Now p is 1, so that's just minus 4 minus 12q equals 24. So minus 12q equals 28. So Q equals minus 7 over 3. Okay. So now I know what P and Q are. Um, I've got Y equals T minus 7 over 3. Substituting so that into the particular solution is YP equals T minus 7 over 3. And you could substitute that back in to check. Okay. So that was yet another example on the undetermined coefficients. Thank you.